Alright, and hey there Proxians, and this is Prox right here, and guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Heart Gold Prox Lock. So if you guys missed out during our last episode, we actually went in taking care of Will, our very first Pokemon Elite Four trainer, and now guys, uh, our next up and coming uh, Pokemon Elite Four trainer is going to be Koga, and uh, we actually do have uh, a few more other Elite Four members to go to, and then up next we do have is Lance, our very last battle that is going to be happening, uh, but yes, as you guys can probably tell, there's not really too many stipulations that are going to be on here there's actually two extra ones that i haven't really went and talked to you guys yet um but yeah so basically what i have here is that we have three annoying type of things that we have we do actually have one extra thing which that is somewhat pretty nice to go out and do and hopefully we don't really go and land out on it too uh too quickly uh because again i uh, just want to let you guys know that uh, if we ever do go and land on the same move well on the same stipulation for the next battle that is going to happen that cannot get used uh, for the next one one uh, because I just want to keep everything fresh. I want to keep everything new and exciting to see what other things that we're going to be uh, going on through here throughout the stipulation. Uh, but yes, yeah, so as you guys do remember, we actually do have we we cannot use hold items, so so that's pretty nice. So at least we don't have to worry about it too much for that fight. Uh, we also do have a uh, use one move for each Pokemon. Uh, so basically, again, from what I told you guys uh, during I think maybe a few episodes back, uh, or maybe just the episode before doing the Elite Four, I did go and tell you guys that basically. Um, uh, for that one specific stipulation is that uh, when we go and do the battle I have to go and literally go for one move and that move is going to literally stick with us for the remainder of that battle and that goes for same with every other type of Pokemon that we also do have on that team as well so if I make uh, a drastic move and, and that is going to be the move that's going to be there uh, for the remainder of the game hopefully that can somewhat uh, be somewhat helpful to us uh, throughout that stipulation but also too we also do have a freebie battle which yes we already did ourselves a freebie battle from before but there is going to be a freebie battle stipulation so if we can land this uh before actually going and taking care of lance that would actually be somewhat pretty nice because then we can actually get ourselves a clean shot to victory without even having to even worry about lance so that is a plus right there um but also too we also do have uh choose one pokemon type on your team and you can't use it for that battle which that is going to really 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 suck if we actually have like a pokemon of let's say like a torterra that comes out uh, from what we've seen from before and I go and I choose out a Pokemon that is not going to be all that too durable against it unfortunately my whole team may probably be freaking screwed and we would be done with the uh, with this whole entire series and we cannot even go and continue onwards because again I did let you guys know that uh, basically for the last time if I do go down and uh, and this will be the second time that that's going to happen uh, we're going to go and move straight right onwards to where the Pokemon Ranger game is going to be and uh, we'll do that series from there but without further ado i guess you guys are basically really hyped to see what our uh, our uh, brand new stipulation wheel is going to basically entail so i do have it all in the description so if you guys do forget about what type of stipulations are going to be there uh just go and check out this video uh for every time that i go and do our next stipulation or actually go and check out the description of the video as well it will all be there uh for you guys to go and look at um it's not going to be the same thing with the other wheel that i had uh, from the other previous times throughout the gym uh but that will actually come back when we we actually do start making our way back to Kanto and actually going to doing all of that stuff. But without further ado, let's go and spin out the dreaded wheel. And hopefully it's going to be somewhat pretty nice for us. Oh man, I'm super worried. Hopefully we don't land on freebie battle right away. Ooh, now this can actually be somewhat pretty nice. Okay, so unfortunately we got ourselves can't use hold items. So unfortunately, uh, all the items that I'm going to be using on my Pokemon right now, uh, I cannot go and use them for this uh, during this uh, Koga battle, but I will get to use them again at another time when we actually go and actually, I think, take care of Bruno, which I believe that's the next one that's going to be coming up. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be uh, pretty nice that we don't have to go and worry about that if we can actually survive this with this Koga fight. But anyways, I'll see you guys guys uh when i actually go and hop right back into the actual game itself and uh let's see if we can go and battle out koga so i'll see you guys in a little bit all right and hey there proxians and this is prox right here and guys and welcome back to another episode of the pokemon heart gold prox lock so basically if you guys did miss out on our uh, beginning of this episode we just went and did ourselves the brand new spinning wheel of displeasure which this is going to be just strictly for the elite four and also with lance nothing else any uh, type of particular we are going to be going back to our old school style of the spinning wheel of displeasure once we head into kanto when everything is somewhat sort of hopefully finished and done with, with the pokemon league uh now again if 
we do get ourselves knocked out and we do get ourselves fainted once more unfortunately we are not going to be able to actually go and continue uh with the rest of this series because we will be going back and reverting to the pokemon ranger game which i have been enjoying the game out here so far uh just with that annoying professor that we have been uh, having to walk around with because i know that we have to go and take him back to fall city but that is what is going to be happening in that series but not for right now because we got ourselves koga to go out and face uh so without further ado before we actually go and do anything else i did go and remove out on all the different items oh well actually sorry i did not go and remove out all the different items just yet but i'm just going to go and make sure to uh actually go and take care of all the different items uh off of my pokemon because i thought that's what i already did off recording but unfortunately i forgot to do that so i'll just make sure to go and take off all the different items because again uh, we did actually go and land on our stimulation wheel uh known as can't hold items so basically any type of items that i actually do have on my pokemon right now uh i cannot go out and use so yeah so basically that life orb and that mystic water unfortunately is no use to us even with berries as well too that's also another factor so uh even berries i can't even go and uh, get ourselves a quick heal off so that's gonna be really bad but we do have here redfield at level 40 with metal claw fly surf and also sword stance uh we also do have ssb at level 40 with sword stance dragon pulse bone rush and also aura sphere uh we also do have morrison at level 40 with bulk up fly blaze kick and also double kick and we also do have helen at level 40 with cut raw throw earthquake also accessory and of course we also do have kilowatt at level 40 with no life war but does have headbutt strength discharge also low kick we also do have Devin at level 40 with Maiden Rise, Recover, Psybeam, and also Nasty Plot. And that is basically everybody on the team right here, right now. Uh, so without further ado, let's just go and take care of Koga. And let's see what type of Pokemon that he's got in store. I'm kind of nervous about what Koga is going to have. Because uh, I know that since we don't really have any type of items. And we're just bare we're just literally naked right now during this fight. So unfortunately, we cannot go and do anything right now uh, to actually have a nice good boost uh, during our battle. So... Hopefully that's not going to be playing a factor throughout this fight. Alright, here we go. Got ourselves Koga. And he's going to send out a Dragonite. Oh, great. These Dragonites have been popping up everywhere recently. And this is just getting out of hand, dude. Uh, it's a good thing that I have SSBL with uh, with Dragon Pulse because I'm pretty certain if I didn't have any other type of Pokemon that was willing to actually have uh, something like that. Ooh, Dragon Rush. No, that's going to be a little bit of a problem there. Okay, now, also too, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty certain uh, Dragonite can also carry out on Aqua Tail as well, but hopefully that is not going to uh, literally destroy us, though, in the process. Uh, that's going to be a little bit of a problem, though. Hopefully that's not going to injure us. Okay, Whew. okay, we're good, we're good. So at least Dragon Rush uh, doesn't do too much damage to us, but it's just that Aqua Tail. If it could get a critical, that would be really scary for us. So hopefully we can still be alive throughout the remainder of this fight. And we can just hold on steady throughout this whole entire time. I do really want to go and take care of Bruno up next. Because Bruno is our next guy that's going to be heading up here. I'm going to try and not to go through too many fast forwards. Uh, if the battle does take long, I will probably just fast forward throughout things. Um, but ooh, this could get bad. Okay. I'm going to kind of risk it here. I'm going to go for another Dragon Pulse. Hopefully this Aqua Tail is not going to go for a critical which that would really suck okay uh i'm gonna hold it on hold on tight there ssbl please just hold on tight Oof. very 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 tight because that's like seven hp but that should actually be able to go and take care of the dragonite and without any problems we are good first battle is finished and done with with dragonite so that is fine with me now, I don't know if that Dragon Fade would actually kind of help us out in the process, but again, we can't really use any hold items, so it's kind of useless. Uh, we do actually have Helen out here for the job, so let's go and take care of that as quickly as possible, because again, uh, if we set up for some Earthquakes, that's going to be super effective on that Arcanine without any problems at all. So, also too, it is at level 42, and oh, no, the attack has been cut. Now, that's a problem, because I don't know if, uh, if that's going to do that much now. Okay, now I know that fire face is not going to do anything unless we get burned, but we do have full heals for that, so we're good for for that part there. But I don't know about this earthquake though; that's going to become a problem. Uh, come on, come on, just at least knock it out, please. Okay, thank goodness. Even with our attack dropped, it's still good. The Arcanine is down and out. We can keep on going. Nice, got ourselves a lot of exp for that. Okay, Reggie Rock is also coming out. Another problem, uh, but not to worry. We do have Red Field. Now, the one thing that is going to be really scary about this is that, again, Reggie's love to carry out explosions, so hopefully that's not going to become a problem when we start setting up for Cirrus. 
Now, unfortunately, without the Mystic Water, I can't go and one-shot it, but I think maybe without it, I could still probably do a one-shot with this. Okay, come on, sir. Just at least do a lot of damage. Knock out this Regirock. Uh, no, it's still alive. Uh-oh. It does have Curse. All right, thank goodness that it was just going and throwing his own move at us. Um, but I think what's going to happen is, is that, uh, I think Koga's going to be probably setting up for us for a Hyper right here. No, actually, it's going to be a full restore instead. Oh, uh, that's going to suck big time, because now Surf is going to only probably do only half, which that is going to play a really big factor. If I had Mystic Water on us, we would do just fine. Yeah, so now it only does only yellow. Uh, well, hold on. If we can do one more, I think we should be okay. Yep, we are good now. Thank God. All right, Regirock is down. That is three Pokemon so far. Only two more left from Koga's team, and then we should be set. Uh, nice, 1999. Uh, okay, uh, we also do have uh, Raikou as well. That shouldn't really be uh, playing out, out that too big of a factor either, because again, we do have Earthquake, but also too, uh, this Raikou's gonna probably have pressure, which I don't really like that either. Um, but let's see. Uh, I'm gonna probably go for Earthquake. Does set up for Reflect. Oh no, I don't know if Earthquake's gonna do that much. Because hopefully, because I can't really remember exactly which one is the worst one. I don't know if it's Light Screen or Reflect, but I'm pretty sure it could be Reflect. So now this Earthquake is gonna probably do nothing. Okay. I'm just gonna try and use as much as I can on this Crunch. Hopefully that doesn't do too much. Oh, but it lowers my defense though. Oh, that's gonna be a problem. Hopefully we can just go and just do this and get ourselves a critical earthquake and just get this right through out of the way uh, I'm sorry lightning that I have to do this, but yes. Thank you with the critical. Oh, yes. Okay Hooray two legendaries are gone from Koga's team. Not too bad Not too bad at all. Helen's at level 41 Crobat's coming out. That's fine with me. We got ourselves kilowatt for the job uh, At least our team is pretty much diverse for this one, too, I guess Oh, but I don't know about this Crobat. This could become a problem because with Cross Poison, it could probably do a lot of damage. Okay, so one Pokemon left. Ah, I've been counting on this from the very beginning. Oh, man. Okay, well, here we go. Discharge, all or nothing. Oh, Confuse Ray. Oh, well, we do have full heals, so if we can break on out, that would be really nice. Come on, Kilowatt. Please just do it for me. Please. Oh, I begged you. Okay. Hooray. So stuff for that discharge. I don't know if it's gonna knock it out or not. Uh hopefully it does. No, not even. Uh, oof. Uh, yeah, that's what I say too. I say oof as well because that didn't even do that much that I was counting on it for. Now this could become a problem. Now, if this crowbat sets up for a cross poison and it gets a critical, that is gonna be an issue. And then if I hurt myself, that's going to be added insult to injury. So I think for me, just playing it safe is that I'm just going to go for a full heal just to be careful. And then uh, see what else we got. Because this Crobat could probably have Poison Fang or it could probably have Cross Poison. I know that probably by this level should... Uh, oh, it's actually a stuff for me look instead. Okay, it's going to just throw his own move. Okay, that's good. I don't have to worry about that. Just go for another Confuse Ran. I think uh, we should be okay. Well, hopefully we can break on out. That, that's by the matter of speaking, though. Uh, come on, Kilowatt. Please, just break on out again. Just do it for me. You already did it before. You can do it again. Yes. Okay, sweet. Oh, thank goodness. And we have crossed that bridge. We have done Koga now. We are finished. We got that W right there. Thank goodness. And that stimulation has been completed as well, too, guys. So that is very handy. Uh, Onwards to the next one. Hey, and we got ourselves some nice good cash as well. Always love to see that. Get to go and use that after, uh, well, basically, hopefully, once we're done with everything, and then we should be able to go and uh, head right over to the uh, SS, uh, what, what's it, the SS Vermilion, and make our way on over to Kanto. Get to use that money for a little bit. But we got ourselves Bruno up ahead, and this is where I am going to go and end off this episode here for today as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I know that this episode was also pretty short, but hey, as long as we uh, can go across through these Elite Four members, that is fine by me. We already went and taken care of the stipulation, so we don't have to worry about uh, can't use hold items anymore. Uh, but now things are going to kind of pick up a little bit more scary uh, throughout our time here, because we only do have uh, the freebie, uh, which that is somewhat handy, but hopefully we can use that at the end for when we go to Take care of Lance, uh, but we also do have, uh, I think, what's it, two more other ones as well, too, as well. So, hopefully, that's not gonna become uh, 
uh, too much of a problem either. But I'll see you guys then. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, also subscribe, and peace.